should not incline you not to do justice. So there the basic thing is the state has to be just between all citizens. And there is a beautiful word which some of our uh, friends in the lawyer fraternity use, that the state has to be equidistant from all the religions. No religion should be favorite of the state. It does not mean that the state should stop people from following their religion. Everybody is free to follow his religion. My relationship, my God is my own personal affair. State should not interfere. The state should be equidistant. No, sta no religion should be favorite. If, if state is doing a favor to a religion, it should do that favor to all religions. For example, if, it, if there is a holiday specific to Muslims, it may be the state may sanction that, but at the same time, they should sanction the holidays, particular to Hindus, Diwali, and all those, or the Christians, to Christmas and uh, 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 this, uh, the Good Friday. So if there are uh, uh, festivals of Hindus, Muslims, and Christians, they should all be equally respected. So I don't say that religion should be abandoned from the uh, political or social life of this uh, religion at all. F uh, uh, individual is free to follow the religion, state should not interfere. So far as the state as an institution is concerned, it should stay neutral. That is the policy of the state envisioned by Islam and practically laid down by the Holy Prophet Sallallahu in the city-state of Medina. In the city-state of Medina, when the charter of Medina was being drawn out, and some political thinkers think that that is the first, driven, uh, first written constitution ever written in the world, so in that written document, he has enumerated the contracting parties. The Ansar of Medina, the Mahajreen of Mecca, the Jews of Medina, the pagans of Medina, the tribes of Medina, and then the Jews all have been enumerated. And then the, and then the document says, Wahum ummatum wahedatum min nas, and they shall be a nation apart from the rest of the world. Now nation here, umma, the word umma has been used in the political sense, but he merged them together and at the same time recognize their rights as a federation would recognize the right of the federating uh, units. So the Islamic State is secular. Pakistan is secular, should be secular. Founding father visions it as secular, but that does not mean that we are abandoning religion. Religion is dear to all Pakistani citizens, but it is their own individual affair. Doc, so just on this question, um, Jeep Sab alluded to it in his closing comments there, was the whole concept of, you know, Islamic State. You hear the word or you hear the term and it grips fear in people around the world in the current state of affairs. And indeed, if you look around the way Islam is portrayed, two elements to this perhaps which you could uh, focus in on. One in the context of the question that the questioner actually puts down that the establishment of the creation of Pakistan was for all the Muslims of the subcontinent. The facts on the ground today illustrate the fact that isn't the case. There are probably a parallel number or an equal number of Indian Muslims mm. in, uh, than there are in Pakistan. That's one point. And the other thing perhaps you could also just flag up the time, as was alluded during the time of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the vision which Mujib Saab just f f mentioned as well about how the Muslims actually ran governance and how in a true sense that an Islamic sort of state should work in terms of the equality and justice it enjoins for all faiths and all communities. Yes, the um, community in Medina during the lifetime of the Holy Prophet وسلم, as Mujib Sab has rightly pointed out is the ideal Islamic state in which all people of all religions and no religions were given their human basic human rights and were uh, living together in a peaceful and tolerant society. Tolerance, I think, is, is a word that Islam teaches to the world. And the teachings of the Holy Prophet وسلم, in governing uh, the people there, it was tolerance and the rights and the freedom that he gave to all sections of society, which was the reason for the peace that emanated from, from that society. Going back to what uh, Majib Sahib has beautifully pointed out as the history of uh, Pakistan at that time. What I beautifully like is his analogy of the virus, you know. Mm. This is a hidden thing which uh, works its way uh, un 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 under hidden tracks. Uh, and it is difficult to treat viruses, more difficult to treat than bacteria. So that's probably why he, he didn't use that analogy, which is beautiful again. 
So this is the thing that there has always been an element. So there's an underlying There's current. an underlying current yeah. which is not visible mm. to, the, to the eye as such, but it, it does damage and, and does damage. And this is the unfortunate state that Pakistan finds itself in and why they have um, gone to this extreme is the lack of tolerance and the lack of freedom, lack of human rights that are given to people uh, of all religions and no, no religions in, in Pakistan. So unfortunate as it is, this is the reason for how the state has, has gone into this, uh, climbed down into this state. Nizakumullah, gentlemen, for that, as uh, Majib Saab pointed out, um, a vast subject, and we will um, continue with the, this theme in the next question as well. But just, uh, if I may, a reminder to our viewers who are listening in today, if you don't yet know it and you've got any question, thoughts, or comments and observations on the subject we're currently discussing about the creation of Pakistan or indeed any other religious or contemporary issue, if you know what to do, it's faithmatters at mta.tv. That's faithmatters, one word, at mta.tv. And a reminder of the facts again is 44 for the UK, 208 687 8037. Gentlemen, if I could move forward with the next question, which comes from Rashid Khan, and it actually follows on quite neatly, as I said earlier, from the uh, uh, subject we're currently discussing. Um, he enjoys Rashid, uh, enjoys Faith Matters. We're, thank you for your kind comments, um, Rashid, on that, and thank you for your question as well. He says that being of Pakistani origin myself, I have a question.